They are healing the desert, not with billion-dollar inventions, nor with experimental technology, not with satellite-triggered rainfall or fleets of autonomous machines, but with straw, with patience, with geometry, and with science that listens instead of conquers. In the Gobi Desert, where temperatures exceed 50 degrees, heat and fast gusts carve the ground like a sculptor. The land had long been considered lost. The soul was broken fine particles carried off by endless gusts, stripped of organic matter, to loose to hold seeds, to dry to store water. But now, grids of straw cross the sands in three-foot by three-foot patterns simple, deliberate, and structured. This grid isn't just symbolic. It's scientifically designed to create microenvironments that break the feedback loop of degradation. The straw checkerboard reduces surface wind velocity by up to 50%. That alone changes everything. With less gusts, less sand moves, with less movement, the top sole begins to settle. With settled sole comes retention of moisture, of heat, of stability. Gust erosion drops, evaporation slows, the albedo of the land its reflectivity shifts slightly, keeping a fraction more warm each night encouraging microbial activity below. Then, vegetation is introduced. Hardy, drought-tolerant species, deep-rooted grasses, leguminous shrubs that fix nitrogen into the soil. These aren't decorations. They're engineers. They anchor the earth. Their roots create microscopic tunnels that let rain when it comes soak deeper. Their shade cools the surface. Their structure protects the progress already made. Over time, the system reinforces itself. The plants support the grid. The grid protects the soil. The soil feeds the plants. The desert changes not quickly, but permanently. One square becomes ten. Ten become fields. Fields connect. Wildlife returns. Birds, insects, even fungi underground. A one silent place begins to breathe. This method has restored over 6,000 square miles. It's been studied by ecologists, refined by agronomists, and practiced by communities for decades. It doesn't require electricity. It doesn't require infrastructure. It requires knowledge, intention, and time. And that may be what makes it powerful. It's not flashy. It's not fast. But it's proven. It's scalable. It's replicable. And it works while the world is distracted by bigger, louder promises. Follow undefined ideas for more stories like this rooted in science.